What's going on guys? It's your boy Ant has a lovely joy. Tonight we are enjoying our hot chocolate and we're looking Cheers. at Christmas lights. So we're just riding around the neighborhood, just checking out different Christmas lights and getting a feel for, you know, the block. Trying to get ourselves into the holiday spirit. Yes. I went Christmas shopping today and um, the store, I did a lot of my Christmas shopping on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Like I got the majority of the big stuff that I wanted on Amazon. Um, but today was like the first time I went to a store and mm -hmm. it just reminded me how much What's I should to avoid the, the stores in December. What store do you go to? TJ Maxx. Uh, she loves TJ Maxx. Mm -hmm. You should be sponsored by them. Seriously. Look, it's snowing on that house. Oh, snap. Look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? So, yeah. We're trying to get in the spirit. Um, I feel like the holidays sometimes, like, it's so easy to get caught up in all the craziness. You know, you got traffic. Yeah. People driving like lunatics. Everybody's in a rush. And you start to get road rage. Before you know it, you're like, damn, I was in the spirit 10 seconds ago. Now I'm cursing. True. So, sometimes get to slow things down. And we just have to, you know, relax. So, that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, the holidays should be about, you know, spending time with family and friends and, you know, you know, taking that time out after having a busy year working and stuff like that to mm -hmm. really enjoy your family and friends. It's The other stuff gets tied in and it kind of like just ruins it for me sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to get somebody, I want to get everybody what they want for Christmas and I want to make sure, like, I like it when somebody opens a present and they, like, really, really wanted it mm -hmm. and it's hard to do that every single Christmas. It is. It so. is. So that's why it's, you know, Christmas, I, I, I enjoy it. I like it, but it's a lot of stress that comes with it, man. A lot of stress, so I think yeah. there's moments like this that's really important for uh, for people to do, so if you like, you know, riding around and riding around is, you know, kind of therapeutic too, sometimes. When it's like kind of late, later out, there's yeah. less traffic. when I'm not driving. Or you're in a small community. It's not that bad. What do you think about that house? That's pretty decent. I like that. That little decoration thing you put in the um, the grass, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Like you just put two of them up and like the whole house off. So oh. It's pretty dope. Look at these houses back here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Look at that. Look at it. It's pretty nice. So we got our hot chocolate from Duncan. This stuff is hot. Yeah, like how, why? Is it so hot? What do they know. use? Mm -hmm. Oh, they had to boil this. There ain't no way around it. Mm -mm. Like me, I can drink hot stuff. Like it's nothing. Not me. But like I was taking sips because it was it was killing me. Yeah, it's way too hot. Wow, these are nice over here. Mm -hmm. These are very nice. Yeah, cute. Nice, nice. And nice. back here. Yeah, I like this. I like this feel. Got a nice little feel. To I it. like houses that are on cul-de-sacs except for that movie what was it called Last Lake House, House. Oh, no, no. Lake House with Samuel Jackson yeah yeah that movie when they lived in the cul-de-sac mm -hmm. that movie was crazy yeah Samuel ever since that I've seen that movie I was like dang isn't it crazy how Samuel Jackson um is the same age yeah that he's been for the past 30 years him and um was it Morgan Freeman <laughs> Morgan Freeman, I think his birth certificate says that he was born in 1865 or something. <laughs> and that was BC. That dude never ages. That's true. Kudos to him. Whatever he does, I need to get on his plan. Yeah, right? I need that skin routine. I need to eat vegetables. That's one dude that will just never get old. What's your secret? Yeah. He's probably like 10 and like, or like 20 in dog years. Which is like a thousand. I'm asking like what this tonight, so. So it's crazy. So we live in this like big community, huge community where everybody, it's like the community is so great um, because they do different things like a scarecrow contest they did in the fall and they get the kids involved. It's like very like, I don't know, very family oriented yeah. and like everybody knows each other and things like that. Um, but I'm not seeing a lot of houses with decorations. I love that house right there. Oh, that's nice. But look at they have look at this little Cinderella. Mm-hmm. I feel as though like with COVID and stuff going on, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of things like the Christmas spirit is not there. Well, I feel like this whole year has been like a blur, and yeah. it's like you know if somebody said in February, hey, you're going to be locked down until December or whatever mm -hmm. month, I'd be like, yeah, right. Yep. And but you, you figure that there's people out there. 
that is, you know, affected by this COVID. Mm -hmm. You know, the job security doesn't exist anymore. So you got people that were making great money, and then now that they're, they're making, you know, the cuts. Sad. They're laying off people. So a lot of jobs. There's not a lot of jobs that's like secure nowadays. Yeah. So it's one thing you know we we're grateful for is for our jobs or for at least having work. Yeah. Um, so been in work since you know the COVID stuff mm -hmm. so far so um but it's scary because like anthony deals with like the general public mm -hmm. and you know COVID's really really bad in jersey right now and it seems like i i there's not one person that i know that hasn't had it yeah like now like when COVID first came out it was kind of hard to say hey i know someone who has it now it's like yeah i know at least 20 people who have it yeah, and it's like, you know, at first when it was going, going on, I'm like, you know, people were saying a lot of conspiracy theories, like, oh, yeah. it's the government, oh, it's this, when the election happens, it's all going to be over with, yep, blah, blah, yep, blah, yep. blah, all that stuff, but, like, I know people that are physically ill from yeah. it, and, like, really, really not well, um, so it's, you know, scary. And I, myself, like, something where, like, I took a, you know, I took advantage of that, because when COVID first came out, I was one of the few people that was just, like, kind of iffy about things. But now you I don't see think everybody it was. Yeah, everybody was, but some people won't admit it. You know, but now when you see it and how it's affecting people in their jobs, it's like you kinda have to apologize and like take a step back and just realize how grateful you are. Because it's crazy. Yeah. I got friends, I got family who, you know, who has the who had COVID. Um, I know friends and family that are out of work because of COVID. Yep. And um, just seeing them go through the things they're going through. And not only that, unemployment is so crazy right now. There's people that are on unemployment, but they still haven't received the check yet. Really? Yeah. I know people who are, who, it's weeks now, they haven't received a check because in order for them to get somebody on the hotline, it takes that long. It takes days to get to somebody. It's so backed up. Mm -hmm. So. It sounds like they need to hire people on the unemployment side. Yeah, so it's, Crazy. it's sad. It's really sad, so. It is sad. That's why we take these just, moments just to yeah. reflect on the good and to you know be grateful for it because life you know you never know you never know Some life can things change happen like, like a switch mm -hmm. and we're familiar with that things have happened in our life that yeah you know are uh mm, that's pretty that's really nice things happen um look lady diana Oh, yes, that's true. My mom was talking about. She wants to live on this road. Yeah, she wants to live on the street. <laughs> you hear that, Mom? Lady Diana. We're on the street right now. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, things do happen. It's just like a switch. You know, everything can be fine. If you know, you're, you could be out of work. You know, mm -hmm. so um, never take anything for granted. Yeah. Or your family, yeah. your loved ones. I try not to take things for granted. Yeah. Even, like, you know, all right, fly me gay. Um, even, like, um, like you know people like you know toothache you were suffering from toothache for a while it's oh, like yeah. you know even the health of your teeth it's just like yeah. i try not to take that for granted it's Listen, just like you know my my feet my teeth feel good today so i'm yeah. good you know i was in i was in tooth pain for six at least six months but like four months four months i was in tooth pain um this street went all out with mm -hmm. lights like she was saying like the days i didn't have pain i was grateful for it like, if I went one day without pain, I was like, thank you, God. And now that I got that fixed, I'm like, every day, I'm just like, thank you. Yeah. Because, you know, she was explaining certain things, like, you can't take, you, you have to be up on things. If you have a pain, like a tooth pain, just go get it done. Get over with it. You have to. You know, because I was such a scaredy cat. teeth guy. are so important. And it's like, everybody that I know that has, like, bad teeth mm -hmm. has bad health. Mm -hmm. And it's like, your teeth are, like, important. Absolutely. So, you got to take care of it. And, you know, don't take any pain for grant like yep. you know go get that stuff taken care of okay. plus tooth pain is the worst pain yeah there's nothing that goes straight to, to your brain mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she knows i was i couldn't sleep sometimes like it was oh, just I felt terrible it was hitting it was hitting me so i would have took that pain for you no look at you just ain't for she, you though ain't she the cutest the cutest thing out there i'm telling you Nice. Yeah, this is like the house portion of our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amazon. Yeah, out there. I feel like I should get my Amazon guy a freaking gift card. <laughs> out there grinding. <laughs> Amazon's the only company I know that would deliver a package at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. One time I ordered that package, 
they said that it was going to be delivered between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. I know, and you didn't believe him. I was like, 10 p.m.? You were like, there's no way they come that late. Yeah, and they, and they actually delivered at like 9.15 that night. I was like, what? Yeah, that's nuts. Amazon grinders. 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 One day I live by Amazon, they, off, they got so many jobs out there for people, like people are getting jobs left and right at Amazon because there's always going to be work for Amazon, I feel. Yeah, like. you know what's crazy though? So, side note, I had to take a training this week mm -hmm. for OSHA. Oh, yeah. So, um, I'm waiting to see if I pass the test and I'm praying that I pass this test. You did. Um, so, because I don't want to take the class again. Not that it wasn't fun, but it was like, it's hard to be away from work that long, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, we were looking up complaints, like OSHA complaints about different companies and Amazon, man, there's so many different things that goes on in the warehouses, but they have so many warehouses. Like if they got fines from OSHA at any other company, the mm -hmm. way that Amazon got fines for it, they would be out of business. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I would do without Amazon. Amazon is the future. It's the, it's the present, the future, it's everything, man. The yeah. stuff that they're doing. Where do you know that you can order a package online and comes the next day? It's unreal. Yeah, and you know what? I I've seen some. I mean, in cities, they can get same same day. Like yeah. come, it drop off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's crazy, insane. Amazon is the Netflix of packaging. If you think about it. Think back in the day. Yeah. What was what was out? Blockbuster. Blockbuster. You had to go to the store, physically get a copy, I then know. bring it back. Netflix, when it first came out, I actually remember when it first came out, they were doing a thing where you order um, through the mail and they will ship your thing to you in the mail. That's right. I and then you will that. ship it back. Yep. And there was never no late fee. So then they said, all right, now we're shipping physical copies. How can we put that into a digital sense? Yeah. And they went digital. Right. Not that it took over the industry. Anthony, look at this. Wow, that's nice. You got to show the people. Yeah, let me show you guys. Christmas tree presents. All right, we just finished our ride. Um, hot chocolate is gone. We looked at some Christmas lights. We're about to take it down. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit the post notification bell, and we'll see you guys on the other side. We love y'all. It's time for bed. <laughs> yes, it is. It's five o'clock. <laughs> Peace.